Hello everyone, welcome back. So uh, today I want to talk to you guys about you know how to handle your gun uh, inside your home. Okay, um, you know how to safely handle the gun so that you know you, you don't have an accident. Okay, now uh, everybody's situation is a little bit different, so I'm going to give you my situation, and you may be able to pick off a couple of pieces that apply to you. Maybe the whole thing applies to you, or maybe just bits of it apply to you. Uh, but but what I, you know, I carry a um, right now. I'm carrying the M&P Shield Nine, right? So and I'm carrying it inside the waistband now. This gun has a fairly light trigger pull, okay? Uh, and I and I covered in a previous video that the holster and the gun are a unit. The, the holster is the safety mechanism for this gun, okay? Um, it doesn't have a manual. It doesn't have a manual safety on it. You know, the 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 um, the holster itself is the safety mechanism. So when I get home, it's usually pretty dark. The kids are sleeping, right? Um, you know, I go to my safe, right? I got a small safe, you know. Um, and what I do is I have a light uh, that, that's over the safe. I turn the light on, okay? That allows me to, to, to see uh, the safe. I, I, pu I push the buttons, open up the safe, okay? And then what I do is I don't remove the gun from the holster, okay? Because, um, like I said earlier, the holster is the safety mechanism for the gun. So I don't want to unnecessarily separate the two. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, with this holster, right, it's easy for me to get the holster onto my belt, but it's not so easy to get it off. So with this particular holster, and, and I like it that way because, uh, let me explain, I'm able to pull out of the holster, right, you see how, you know, there's, you know, I, I have it set so that there's a little bit of pull, right, there's a little bit of pull, so, so the holster itself doesn't come off the belt, okay, so what that means is that it's not easy to remove the holster. So. I put on my light, open up my safe, and what I do is I undo my belt, okay? And what I do is I pull the belt out, okay? And that allows me to easily remove the holster with the gun in it, and I do not separate the two because, you know, the, the gun is loaded, it's around the chamber, the holster is the safety mechanism for this gun. That's what's protecting this trigger gun. I put it in my safe, close the door, I check it, right, because it takes uh, about, I don't know, three seconds or five seconds for that bolt. You know, I can hear it. I can hear that mechanical bolt closing. So I close the door. I, I lock it. I wait five seconds, check it, right, and then I turn off the light, okay? Uh, and I always do the same thing the same way. Um, and the light is actually, uh, I always turn off the light last because in case I get interrupted for some reason, uh, the light gives me a warning that, hey, maybe I didn't do the step before, it, okay? Um, so the next morning, I do everything in, 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 in reverse. So put my belt back on. So I get my, my pants on. Okay, so I get my shorts on. Um, I go up to the safe. I turn the light on, okay? I open up my safe. Okay, then I take, I take the gun, right, which is in the holster, and without removing it, all right, I'm going to put this in my belt. Okay, so the gun never leaves the holster, okay? Um, you know, the gun does not come out of holster until I get here. Okay, this is the only place where the gun comes out of holster when I'm actually shooting. Okay, um, in you know when I you know from this point forward when I when I when I leave here, uh, the gun stays in the holster the same time. Uh, there's no reason why this gun would ever need to come out of the holster in my home. Okay, um, so when I get home, take off, take take the gun off my belt, in its holster, put it in the safe, close it. Next morning, take the gun, you know, put it back on my belt without removing it from the holster. Um, if, if you, tr you know, you might think that, hey, maybe it's safer uh, to unload the gun. But here's the thing. If, once you take the gun out of the holster, especially if it's dark, and it's, and it's always dark when I get home because the kids are sleeping, yeah, you're actually increasing your risk of an accident. So, you know, you try to take the gun out of the holster, take the magazine out, clear the gun. I'm doing a lot of unnecessary steps, and then what happens if I have a situation where I actually ha might need to use the gun, right? Let's say there's, you know, th there's some crazy stuff going on in town. There's, there's riot, not in this town, but there's riots going on all over the place. You know, maybe that kind of craziness ends up, you know, working its way into my neighborhood. Let's say I actually do need to use a gun. Now I gotta put all that stuff back together. I gotta, you know, load the gun up, put it around the chamber, put it back in the holster. So why go through that es extra trouble of unloading the gun? Why not just leave it in the holster, which is the safest place it can be, okay? Uh, the, again, the, the, the holster, a hard Kydex holster, is the safety mechanism for the gun. So once again, I get home. It's fairly dark. I can't see. I just got a little, a little light 
um, over my safe, put the light on, open up my safe, right? Then I will, you know, because I can't remove this holster from this belt easily, okay? It's a lot easier for me just to undo the belt, pull the belt out, easily remove the holster, you know, the gun with the holster, put the whole thing as a unit inside the safe, close the safe, check it, turn the light off, and, and I'm done with it until the next day. Next day, put my belt back on, you know, put, get my pants back on. Okay, go to the safe, put the light on, even if I don't need to use the light, right? Even though, let's say, it's bright, now it's daytime, I can see, I, I still put the light on because if I forget to close the safe or anything, that light is going to tell me that, hey, you forgot to do the step before. Okay, so, so that's why I always do things the same way every time. So put the light on, open the safe, take the gun out with the gun in the holster. I don't remove this gun from the holster because that's the safety mechanism. Okay, get this gun on my belt. And let's say I drop the gun or whatever. Hey, it's in the holster. Okay, it's safe. Okay, get the belt back on. Okay, everything is where it's got to be. Close my safe, lock, lock it. Check it, all right? Make sure it's locked. Put the light off, you know, and, you know, close the door, you know, and basically I'm, I'm ready to begin my day. Okay. So uh, a couple things for you guys to consider with regards to safe gun handling in your home, okay? Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, please put in the comment section. If you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.